Oh, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> have, I, have I got time for more? Ah, <laughs> oh, what a lo lovely day it's been. Do you know it's about 80 degrees in the shade? I was clever, I said in the sun. <laughs> well, I must say you've been a wonderful audience. And we like to close the show now. <laughs> with a little song. <laughs> oh, I've got something in my eye. My finger. <laughs> I wear my tails tonight. Do you like them? It's a saucepan. Is it? Oh, I got the wrong hat. I tell you. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, thank you, Randy. Put it down. Oh. No, no. <laughs> As I said um, in the introduction, you're the most impersonated man in Britain. Now, I must ask you, when was the first time you went, not like that? I never did it. <laughs> you never did? Never said that at all. Really? No, never. Well, well, the other thing that they do when they take you off, they go, like that. Don't they? No. <laughs> no. <clears throat> <laughs> What's it like, though, being the man? No, they don't do that. They don't do that? No. What do they do? What, what do they do, you say? They go, like that? No, they don't do that. What do they do? They do it like that, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do it once more. <laughs> Now, well, where, in fact, did the, the, the fez come from? Well, uh, the fez? Yes, the fez. Well, funny enough, uh, the fez came uh, when I was uh, in Egypt. I was in the army there, you see, and... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, I was thinking of something else. I got led away a bit there. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, it's nothing to do with the show, really, but... <laughs> nothing, nothing. No, it's all right. What's the matter? Look, well, I backed a horse today, you see, at <laughs> 20 to 1, and it came in 20 past 4. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, it's, it's nothing to do with it, really, I, what I'm going to talk about. It's just a personal thing, you know what I mean? Mm. But, I mean, it's like when people give you a tip, they always from the side of the mouth, isn't it? They give you a tip like that. <laughs> well, like that. They don't want to hear it themselves, in case they back. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's a day for the very... F I don't really gamble. No. No, but today, this man gave me a tip, and I lost 200 pounds. 200 pounds? 200 pounds, yeah, but, I mean, that's nothing to do with it. I shouldn't say anything about it, really, because... <laughs> it's just nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> very upsetting. No, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry I brought it up. Really. What? Oh, John! <laughs> 200 pounds! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all right now, no. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right, really. I asked you about the fez. When did you start, first start the fez? I mean, how do you get the idea of the fez? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I got. <laughs> Thank you, Royal Highness. Ladies and gentlemen, pray silence for Mr. Tommy Cooper. Please. <clears throat> My wife said to me, are you a man or a mouse? <laughs> I 
Well, I know I'm a man because my wife is frightened of mice. <laughs> But I'm wearing this really for two occasions. I mean, really because elephants are frightened of mice as well. And that's why I'm wearing it. No, they are, people don't know, but elephants are frightened of mice. I mean, if an elephant saw a mouse, it would run away. It would go. And this works, it does work, because if you look around the room, you won't see an elephant anywhere. <laughs> bit of that, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I can... <laughs> Your... <clears throat> Your Royal Highness Mr. Chief Barker, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, I must say it's a great honour, a very great honour, being invited to this intimate little party. <laughs> and the Chief Barker said to me, well, asked me a few, well, a little while back, to say a few words. Well, I think when they were showing the white wine and the red wine. I don't know which, I'm a colour blind. <laughs> But he, he asked me if I would say a few words on the occasion of His Royal Highness, Prince Philip, and his 60th birthday. So I said, well, what shall I say? He said, well, don't talk about Prince Philip and don't mention his age. <laughs> so I'd like to close now with a little song. But as we embark on the ship of life, <laughs> across the dangerous waters of our immortal death, I'll show you a little trick now. <laughs> <laughs> here, I've got a pack of cards here. Now, would you take four cards, man? <laughs> You've never seen me before, have you? <laughs> have you four cards? Now, don't show them me. Don't show them to me at all. Now, I shall take one card. I won't look at it myself from there like that. Now, can you say out loud, what is the difference between the first hand you had and the second one you got now? The Queen is missing. Boy, you're not that. <laughs> Wait, you can't have everybody. <laughs> does my voice sound a bit hoarse? <laughs> yes. It does, but doesn't it? <laughs> I, I, it did, because today I, I, I lost my voice a little bit today. <laughs> and, and then... Totally incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> no, I lost, <clears throat> I lost my voice a bit as I, I went and saw a doctor. And he said, uh, So he looked, he said, Up me, I went like that. And he looked down, he's a little raw. And I went, <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't loud, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, when I got the fez, I, wore, I, I got it when I was in Egypt. I was in the, I was in the army there, you see. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> uh, we did a show at the YMCA, and I used to wear a pith helmet. <laughs> pith helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my teeth is. <laughs> anyway, I used to wear this pith helmet. And then one day, I forgot to bring it with me. So I, these waiters used to walk about with a fez and a long white galley beer. So I took one off the head and I wore it ever since. Why aren't you wearing one today? Why? Why? Well, there's a long story attached to it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about that later on. Let's talk about your magic, because uh, although you, you sort of build your act around uh, not being a very good music, uh, musician, magician, you are in fact a very accomplished one. And I wonder if, if you'd just show me a good Straight trick done for real. All right, yes. Will you? Yes. As well as I shot a trick with some Spanish balls. So, yeah. <clears throat> here's a, a yellow one dyed red. <laughs> and here's a blue one dyed red. <laughs> right? Right. So that's left, right, and that's right. 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 So that's right, right, and that's left, right. 
Is that right? Right. Because this is left, right? R right. Right. Okay. All right. So look, if I take that one away, what's left? One. No, this this is left. Oh. That's left, right. That's right, right. <laughs> look, I'm confused. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll do it in French. All right. Do you speak French? No. But un, deux, three. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're only going to use two, so we use these two. Un, deux. So I get this one here, un, I put in deux, and I put... <laughs> un, and deux, and deux over deux. Deux over deux, yeah. right. And then I get un, and deux, and deux in deux. <laughs> now, the idea of the trick is this. I make un, deux, from deux to over deux. <laughs> <laughs> and when I help open the hand, There'd be nothing to do, they'd be all poopy over the dirt. Is that right? Yeah, look, look, see, look at that. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no. I told her I'd do this time, look, you can help me with this, Michael. Right. Look, I'll get this one here, look. Right. I place it in the hand like that, and this one here, I want you to squeeze in your hand tight like that. Now, I'm going to make mine disappear, and I'll make yours. You make yours. Now, watch. It's going now. <laughs> it's gone. You don't believe me? No. It is. Look at it. <laughs> right. Now, is yours gone? Can you feel it? Yes. Right. Oh, that's right. right. Just put it down there. <laughs> I got good. I'll right, right, tell you what. I'll take this one and this one, put them both in your hand like that, right. and just hold it there like that. I'll tell you what. i take one here, look. Is it possible to make that one jump from there to over there? No. No, I put it in there like that. So you go, boom, boom, open your hand. <laughs> Magic. Um, so right. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I do, I'll show you how it's done. See, what you do is this. You get this one and this one and put, hold them tight. You know there's two, but it makes it look like one, see? You wave it about like that, see? Mm. And then you put it in there like that, mm. get this one, and you put it in your pocket. So Emily's in there. Two. No, you wouldn't watch it. Now tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> right, I'll tell you. I'll take this one and this one here. <laughs> Have you got one of my balls? <laughs> no. Oh, here it is. There. All right. Now, which two would you like? Those two. Right. The two largest ones. Right. So we put those there. Like that. <laughs> now, I take this one and this one and put them in your hand like that. Right. See? Hold them tight. Right. You saw that, didn't you? <laughs> Did you see it? Did you feel? I had something. Yeah, you? I've got two balls. In there, yeah, yeah, you've got two balls, right? <laughs> yeah. In my hand. How many will you say? Three. Three? Four, two. Two? All right. Open your hand. <laughs> All right. Nice and nice. Yeah. Hey. And now, what I was going to do in a minute or two. <laughs> What I thought I would do. <laughs> right, now here we go. I would like to recite for you now a little poem. It was New Year's Eve in Joe's Bar. A happy mob was there. The bars and tables were crowded. Lots of noise filled the air. In the middle of all this gaiety, the door banged open wide. A torn and tattered tramp walked in. <laughs> happy New Year, folks, he cried. <laughs> the crowd just looked at him and laughed, and some began to jeer. But a sailor, standing at the bar, said, Show hoy, mate, haven't we? <laughs> I thank you, son, the tramp replied. <laughs> the beer and me are through. I'll never touch a drop again, but I'll split a bottle of rum with you. 
I split the bottle of rum with you. <laughs> then up jumped the banker, <laughs> who happened to be there. Throw that trap out, he cried. He contaminates the air. <laughs> Those harsh words, friend, the sailor said. <laughs> the banker said, so what? <laughs> Them shoot words, a cowboy said. Are you ready to be shot? <laughs> I'm sure we're going to come <laughs> New Year's Eve with Joe's Bar. Happy New Year. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> then up jumped the soldier <laughs> and said, This ain't no time to fight. <laughs> You're right, said the sailor. And the banker said, Well, all right. <laughs> then up jumped the woman. I stared at the tramp. <coughs> My goodness, it's Sam, she cried with fright. And her face went white. <laughs> Who's Sam? A fireman said. <laughs> <laughs> the tramp. <laughs> then pulled out a knife. I said, I'm Sam, he cried. And that painted woman is my promised bride. Nuts, don't make me laugh, the trump replied. You cut it wet on the horse. Why not, said the fireman. The trump replied, we never were divorced. <laughs> it's a lie, the woman shouted. <laughs> it's the truth, the trump yelled out. <laughs> Hold everything, said the sailor. <laughs> What the heck's it all about? <laughs> Who are you to butt in the bank and say? <laughs> the cowboy said, shut up. <laughs> the soldier said, take it easy, boys. <laughs> and the farmer said, ooh. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> and the farmer said, I'll kill that pup. <laughs> ah! Ha ha! <laughs> a tough guy said a farmer. <laughs> he was standing, I can't hear myself. <laughs> he was standing at the bar. The cowboy hit the fireman, and the fireman hit the floor. He got up straight away, looked at the woman, and said, I was a mouthful for you to fall. And then he hit her. My gosh, she screamed. Ah. <laughs> and then the fight was free for all. Free for all. In was the Indian. <laughs> a little schoolboy. In the middle of all this fighting, you could hear the knuckles crunch. When all of a sudden they heard a policeman's whistle. They heard a policeman's whistle. They heard a policeman's whistle. <laughs> Isn't it marvelous, eh? That's all you had to do. 
and he's wearing makeup as well. <laughs> And a policeman came in and pinched the whole damn bunch. Damn. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. What's a pound note? I thought it was a father. <laughs> <laughs> and makes his way into the box here. <laughs> white, there, look, there, there. I want to make the white one circle jump to the top. <laughs> <laughs> and now back again to the bottom. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, all right. Look at that. Put it in the middle. <laughs> in the middle. All right, how's that? <laughs> how's that? <laughs> I tell what I like to do now. <laughs> I'll let you do something entirely different for you, just to bear it. Did you see that program, Wings of the War? Yes? Yes. Uh, Robert Mitchell. Robert, uh, is it Robert? <laughs> is his name Robert? Mitchum, Robert Mitchum. Yeah, that's what I said, Robert Mitchum. <laughs> I'd like to give you an impression now of Robert Mitchum's father. <laughs> Hiya, son. And I'd like to give a quick impression now of a sailor on board the, uh, um, what do they call them? Guarding the planes in. Thank you all. <laughs> give me the moonlight, give me the girl, and leave the rest. 
I do love me. <laughs> Give me a shade in it. Buy a bedroom room where no one else can see. Give me a bench for two, our American village, and mine, she's got to be. <laughs> if there's only one in doubt, and they like to try me out, give me the moonlight, give me the girl, and leave the rest to me. Thank you. Oh, I got a spreading headache. <laughs>